Children, I'm back with the third part of All Summer in a Day, written by Ray Douglas Bradbury. <clears throat> so, in my previous video, we have discussed where we have seen that uh, the character, the main character, Margaret, that's girl who came from Earth five years ago, she was quite upset. She used to remain in isolation. She never mix up with anyone except when the other children discussed about the sun and once uh, when she said it's a penny the other children bullied her and told that she is lying so till that and then she used to stand and watch the rain and used to watch uh, used to wait for the sun to appear so from next part and once a month ago she had refused to shower in the school shower rooms had clutched her hands to her ears and over her head screaming the water must not touch her head so she actually i said earlier also she could not adjust so much water every time that raining it's raining in that planet so she was having phobia of water that phobia was so much that she used to refuse to take bath also used to take used to she used to refuse to take shower and it is written you see her clutched her hands to her ears and overhead screaming the water must not touch her she used to avoid touching water so after that dimly dimly she sensed it I means slowly very slowly she used to touch it she was different and they knew her difference and kept away she was different that we also understand she was different because she was not there in that planet since her birth since she gained con his her own uh, you know consciousness so she was different and the other children also knew that so they used to bully her they used to avoid her tease her there was talk that her father and mother were taking her back to earth next year so that discussion was also there it seemed vital to her that they do so though it would mean the loss of thousands of dollars to her family so her family also came to this different planet venus to settle there but maybe seeing their child's condition they wanted to go back they wanted to take their child back to earth and for that lot of money also needed dollars lot of money needed but still they would try they would spend to take their daughter to earth back to earth and so the children hated her so this that was one of the biggest reasons that they did not like they used to feel jealous because if she went to earth then she would be able to experience sun every day what the others could not so it is written you see the children hated her for all these reasons of big and little consequence big means she is going she is going back to earth and little consequences she is different so that what we got to know just above they hated her pale snow face the dull face that pale face colorless face her waiting silence means she used to remain silent she she never talked to them her thinness her weak body everything and her possible future possible future is what she would go back to earth she would see sun every day get away the boy gave her another push what are you waiting for then that william that same boy gave her another push and told her you move from there then for the first time she turned and looked at him she never looked at them she used to remain alone but this time she looked and what she was waiting for was in her eyes means that eagerness was there in her eyes to see the sun well don't wait around here cried the boy savagely you won't see anything so the boy says said that you do go from here you won't be able to see anything that boy's that voice was voice of the boy was very you know harsh and very brutally very brutally he says you move from here that means in a way 
these children they were trying to mislead margaret they were trying to mislead margaret well uh, then her lips moved nothing he cried then again the boy said nothing loudly said nothing it was all a joke means the scientist what the scientists have predicted these are all joke nothing will be no sun will come out he turned to the other children nothing is happening today is it means he is just uh, taking the just wanted to get the get the same agreement of the other children they all blinked at him blinked means they just wanted to prove that yes they are trying they all are there with william with that particular boy to mislead margaret and then understanding laughed and shook their heads so they did nothing nothing oh but margaret whispered her eyes helpless but this is the day the scientists predict they say they know the sun so but the girl was very eager she said fine very low voice she said no but the scientists predicted that the sun will come out all a joke said the boy and seized her roughly again said that it is all joke nothing is truth hey everyone let's put her in a closet before the teacher comes so they were so wicked they were so jealous that they decided to put her in a closet closet means in, in a close in a small place from where she could not come out and experience the sun no said margaret falling back then margaret say no no don't do this she is protest protesting how you see they surged about her caught her up and bore her they took her and they wanted to move quickly and to keep her in that closet but protesting and then pleading and then crying back into a tunnel a room a closet so the girl was protesting because sun was very important for her she was doing her utmost to stop them but no they did it where they slammed and locked they locked her in that closet they stood looking at the door and saw it tremble from her beating and throwing herself against she was inside that closet from inside the closet she was beating the door to open they heard her muffled cries muffled means that suffocated cry because she was in that small place it was suffocating she was unable to breathe maybe properly and out of that suffocation she was crying then smiling they turned and went so they smiled and they went and back down the tunnel just as the teacher arrived now the teacher arrived ready children she glanced at her watch yes said everyone so they are now untruthful they are lying yes they are ready are we all they all here yes see how are they lying the rain slackened still more so the teacher says it is it has become lesser now the rain they crowded to the huge door they all gathered there the rain stopped okay now you see this paragraph you, you listen carefully very nicely explained it was as if in the midst of a film concerning an avalanche a tornado a hurricane a volcanic eruption something had first gone wrong with the sound apparatus thus muffling and finally cutting off all noise all the blasts and repercussion and thunders and then second ripped the film from the projector and inserted in its place a beautiful tropical slide which did not move or tremor the wall ground to a standstill so what is there you see here it is you you will get all the meaning in your workbook a valchi is what you know it is like when a from the mountain when a mass of snow falls that is called a valchi like continuous snow when the snow comes down torrendo hurricane these are all huge storm volcanic eruption so all these things what actually wanted to mean you see a little while ago it was raining thundering so it was like a movie where a valchi tornado hurricane volcanic eruptions and all were shown and suddenly it stopped and as if the real real has been thrown out 
and another reel is fitted on the projector which is very nice picture what is you see it is written the projector and inserted in it's a beautiful tropical slide which did not move or tremor the world ground to a standstill means there is no storm there is no sound nothing it is fixed so another movie the silent was so immense and unbelievable that you felt your ears had been stuffed or you had lost your hearing altogether means suddenly <clears throat> last since last 7 years they experienced only sounds sounds of rain sounds of thunder then heavy storm but suddenly everything like uh, comes to an end there is no sound it is so silence that you will feel you have become deafened the children put their hands to their ears they stood apart the doors slid back and the smell of the silent waiting world came into them like they all were very quiet they were standing and the door opened and they all <coughs> could smell could feel that silent they all were inside and now they are all coming out the sun came out because of the rain every time they are inside but now they are out it was the color of flaming bronze and it was very large and the sky around it was blazing blue tile color so now they could see the sun it was huge like a bright color and the jungle burned with sunlight as the children released from their spell rushed out jungle burnt with sunlight means like the jungle is lighted with the light of the sun ray sun rays sun rays got the sun rays released from their spell the children released from their spell like children were mesmerized as if spell has been casted yelling into spring time they are shouting now don't go too far called the teacher after them they were so excited they were moving here and there the so teacher warned them not to go you have only two hours you know you would not want to get caught out so the mm, teacher is telling you have only two hours in hand so you don't out of excitement don't move here and there but they were running and turning their faces up to the sky so first time they could feel the sun that warmth they could feel because seven years before they were too small they did not have any consciousness so they could feel the warmth they were taking off their jackets they were removing their jackets and letting the sun burn their arms they wanted to get that sun rays that light of the sun on their body oh it's better than the sun lamps isn't it much much better so they have sun lamps inside so inside that tunnel that underground tunnel and they said yes it is much better they stopped running and stood in the great jungle that covered venus that grew and never stopped growing tumultuously even as you watched it it was a nest of octopi clustering up great arms of flesh like weed wavering flowering in this brief spring it was the color of rubber and ash this jungle from the many years without sun it was the color of stones and white cheeses and ink and it was the color of the moon so now they were stopped running they they stopped running and stood they stood stood one one place earlier they were running here and there in that vast jungle venus is full of jungle it is like growth of plantation but you know it is without the sun the jungle lost greenery so it is written you see the color is rubber and ash ash color color is not it is not green no color it is color is not there it was the color of stone white cheese or ink it was the color of moon but not the color of color what actually the plants should have so this much